Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Christmas is creeping up on us, and this is your devotional for Wednesday, December 16th. And we're going to be in the Gospel of Luke, just kind of thinking about the Christmas story, to to be preparing our hearts. We're in the Christmas season, but for this upcoming Christmas Eve services, uh, Christmas uh, Christmas Day, and all that is part of this time of the year. So just let your, your heart kind of quiet down and listen to God's Word from Luke chapter 1, beginning in verse 26. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Pretty powerful words. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth will be called, uh, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fall. There's a whole sermon right there. No word from God will ever fall. And listen to how Mary responds. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word be to me fulfilled. Then the angel left her. These words are so powerful, and I just want to draw a couple of thoughts as, again, as we kind of move towards, to, towards Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, trying to keep our focus on what Christmas is really about, which is Jesus. Here's a couple of, a couple of things that I think are helpful for us. Here's the first one, that Mary was troubled. When she heard these words, she didn't go, okay, sounds great. It, it troubled her. These were new words. This was a strange greeting. This woman who's never been with a man is told she's going to be pregnant. I mean, this is not a small thing. The Bible really shows real pictures of real people. So it says she's troubled. Can I say to you, as you follow Jesus, as you walk with him, there's times where he'll speak to you. There's times where he'll lead you. There's times he'll direct you. And you go, man, this is kind of troubling. This is kind of confusing. I don't totally get it. That's okay. We're human beings who don't understand all the greatness of God's plan. But if God is leading, keep taking those baby steps forward. And and then here's the second thing. Mary's told that she will have a child and he'll be named Jesus. The the, the name Jesus means God is salvation. His very name is God is salvation. And we need to, to, at this Christmas season, remember that our God brings salvation, that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. Whatever you think about at Christmas time, keep in mind, in the front of your mind, that salvation entered the world in that manger on Christmas Day. That God Almighty was wrapped in human flesh and came to give his life on a cross for you and for me. God is salvation. And then the last thought is that Mary, after all of this, she, she's troubled, she struggles, the angel speaks to her, but then she responds, and, and, and she, she just says, Mary answered, may your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. She says, I'm in. May your word be fulfilled. Come to that place where you understand God's will as best you can, and then surrender. So as I was looking at this passage, I, I saw three words. I'm not, I'm not a big guy with like all words that start with the same letter. And, uh, but there's three words that hit me. First, there was struggle. There can be struggle when God's leading us. Second, she heard the message of the Savior. Jesus comes in. And then there was surrender. Maybe that can be our journey when we're facing tough times. Some struggle, but then we know that we hold on to Jesus as the Savior who's come among us. And then we surrender to his will. God, that's our prayer today that we would surrender ourselves to your will, to your ways. Lord, help us to celebrate you this Christmas season, to keep our eyes fixed on you, to say, Lord, your will be done in me. We pray this in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Well, we'll see you Sunday morning at worship, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock services. If you want to come in the drive-in part of the service or in the courtyard, be sure you go online and register right away. And if you want to meet with us online, that's wonderful. And call a friend, invite them to come online as well. And we'll see you either online or on campus this Sunday, 9 o'clock and 11. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.